So I can tell you confidently that ideas come from random places. I was playing Synergy, a mod for Half-Life 2 that enables multiplayer gameplay, with my brother. Shout out to Caustic on SoundCloud, link in the description. And we had a good time, but eventually, for whatever reason, we decided to start changing server CVARs. We were spawning NPCs, having a good time, and eventually we broke the game, so we just had to noclip through everything, and since I was hosting a server, I decided to just start messing with the gravity, because why not? To make it faster, I bound the mouse wheel up to setting the gravity to a very negative value, which basically just shoots us straight up in the air. I set mouse wheel down to a very positive value, so it just shoots us straight down to the ground. And after a few minutes of trying not to touch the ground, I set a really stupid value for the tick rate, I mean it was like an hour, and this basically crashes the server. But thankfully, despite cutting our playthrough short, I ended up getting a new idea for a video game. This was Sin Bounce. I made a little mock-up a few days later, and thanks to my brother, I've been working on this ever since. Again, shout out to Caustic. It's been slow, but since I'm a little out of practice making games that aren't just for game jams, I have been consistently working on it, and it's going pretty well. The idea of the game is to use the scroll wheel to keep the player in the middle region of the arena. So don't touch the ceiling or the floor, don't touch the walls, and smash through the colourful blocks to gain points. It's a pretty simple game, and it shouldn't be very big, but just as something to go alongside my other responsibilities, it's very fun to work on here and there. At the moment, I've only barely got a main menu, and I've decided to play some large control indicators on the left half of the screen. I'm not sure what it is, but something about this layout is pleasing, so I've kept it. But that being said, feel free to leave some feedback on how you feel about it, because I know it's not very usual to put control icons on the screen like this. There also aren't very many fun effects right now. Eventually, I'd love to pack in some particles, glow effects, shakes, sound effects, stuff like that which will really help to juice it up a little. At the moment, I've only barely got the basic gameplay working, and even then, I haven't done the scores and lives. The biggest challenge I'm up against right now is just that I have no idea how to lose in this game. I mean, I want it to be a high-scoring game. So there's no need for an explicit win state, you just get a really high score. If it's high enough, you feel good about yourself, you win. As for a losing state, maybe all the tiles will just move upwards, and the player will need to keep them from reaching the top of the screen. If any tiles reach the ceiling, they get removed and one life is deducted. Something like that seems reasonable. Obviously, I welcome any other ideas you might have, please leave a comment, I need help. Next thing I'll do is probably set up the score system. I'll need to add a life indicator, and eventually I might figure out how to just make all the tiles move upward. You see, a big benefit to planning all this stuff out ahead of time is that you code it with all this stuff in mind. Sadly for me, of course, I didn't do that, so I'm going to go delete some stuff. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for updates on this weird thing called Sin Bounce. Goodbye.